is okay to not be okay. We face unprecedented levels of mental illness in our current day and age. So thanks to Beyond Blue's initiative, hashtag Beyond the Screen, helping Australian gamers, today we're going to talk about it. Having dealt with mental struggles since I was a teenager, I'm going to speak on behalf of my own experience, but I'm going to be pulling more from my career as a content creator in the gaming industry. Now, I don't want my story to lessen anyone else's um, mental struggles or their stories or diminishes their experiences. Instead, what I hope it does is help people relate or at least connect through our shared experiences that we can spread awareness help gamers with their mental well-being and also find a healthy balance. We want to show that talking about our mental health is not a weakness but a strength. I have actually really struggled to uh, how to structure this video. I'm going to do the best I can because mental health is one of the most important things to me. As someone who has dealt with it since being a teenager, I want to strive to help those in here i know what i want to say and then here and here don't always match up so i'm going to try and connect this as best as possible now i feel like loneliness is something that can strike all of us i will pull from the example of being a content creator a lot of the time i am alone i am on my own behind a screen working on my own i may be working with people but we're always working online and sometimes when you shut the screens off, it can feel a little bit lonely. And I relate that to gaming as well, when gaming is such a great experience because you find people online, you find a group of friends, you game to get away from the reality of life and go into a different world. And I think it's fantastic. It's one of the reasons why I love gaming. All my stresses of the day, if something went wrong, I know I can game and forget about it and have a good time, have a good time with my friends. Sometimes when the screens go off, um, you can feel lonely because you don't have that physical being with you once you turn the game off and your screens off you are back in your in your headspace and when you're lonely especially for me i find that that's when negative talking comes into your head and rather than it being a positive space in here it becomes negative especially when you're alone it becomes very negative negative. and in my personal experience the ways that I have gotten around that is making sure that I speak with friends consistently about how I'm feeling, whether that is uh, online friends that I don't get to see. So I'll, we'll go into a Discord call and have a chat about how I feel usually helps. Or my friends in real life, I will go and catch up with them, meet with them, and even sometimes tell them how I feel. Your friends want to be there for you and to help you if you have a problem. Again, it is not a weakness. It's you saying, hey, this is how I'm feeling and I need help. And it's not a bad thing because people inside, I feel like people do want to help and they want to step up to the mark and be there for you. And I think talking about it with friends, even with family, seeing your family, I do not see my family enough and I should. And it's the one thing I want to work on to go and see them. And I don't know about you when it's been, for me, when it's been a long time being around people and friends, when I'm around them and talking to them about what's going on, I walk away and I feel lifted as if everything, everything I was carrying is off my shoulders. And I'm like, wow, that was such an experience. And I have friends that care about me and want to speak to me. I have family that care about me and want to talk to me. And even the friends online that you make, they're there and they want to talk to you and they want to help because they want you to be happy and they want you to get through it. So I think that's one of the most amazing things, especially about gaming and being online, is unfortunately some of these people are in a different country and continent to you, but they are still friends and they are amazing people. I have met the most amazing people online and they want to be there for you and they want you to tell them, if you're not okay, because they will want to find a way to help you be okay. I think another thing as well needs to be spoken about more is speaking to a professional. They definitely have the tools to maybe direct your mind into different ways of thinking. And I myself had definitely have negative thoughts about myself. Whereas talking to a professional, they definitely can give you the tools 
to redirect those thoughts or think in a different way. Now, there have been times where I have booked a session to speak to someone and I, before it be like, I don't need to be here. I don't need to do this. It's it, This isn't for me. Gone in and it has been the best session. Now, sometimes, you know, as well, you need to find the person that you're going to can connect with. That may not always be the first person you find. It is worth trying to find the person that you can connect with and feel comfortable speaking to. And once you do, sometimes you can walk away and be like, wow, I have a different perspective or a different tool to use to navigate the struggles that we have in life. There is also another thing, and I know I feel like this gets said a lot. And as a gamer myself, man, I could spend I could spend nearly 24 hours sitting here gaming. You shouldn't, but I could. When people say to go and walk outside for half an hour, I tell you, it is one of the best things ever to get the fresh air, to get some sun, to get just to be in nature is actually one of the best things. I will just put my running shoes on and just go for a walk outside. And I think it is as much as I feel like we all we all have been told that it is so refreshing to get out of our usual routines and go out for a walk in fresh air. The other thing as well I have found and I have just started doing this is walking and getting my steps in. But I do it in a different way. Because I love gaming so much, I have a walking pad. It's sitting right there under my desk. And while I'm gaming, I may be playing Elden Ring or something like that. While I'm gaming, I will game and walk on the treadmill and get my 10K steps up. And an hour, I promise you, I'm not the best at exercise. An hour will go by like that. And I'm close to 10K and I didn't even know because I was playing a game. When I tell you it has been one of the most groundbreaking things for me, I have loved it and I encourage it for everyone. You can just get it off Amazon or something. Um, they're only small, you can get foldable ones. Best you have a stand-up desk as well and walk while you're gaming. I even, I've even seen another content creator walking while playing on like the, her TV and she's walking and playing Call of Duty or something on the TV. And it's fantastic. I think it's the best way to get your steps in without or getting exercise in without realizing you're doing it because you're so focused on the game. Another thing I want to talk about is bullying online or more so uh, negative comments that people have. And I know a lot of people have this online. People who are online experience this, whether that's in a comment, whether that's in a game lobby, whether there is anywhere. It happens to everyone. I remember when I started my career, I had people telling me I was loud. No one will watch me because I'm loud. And it was a big, became a big insecurity of mine because I thought, oh, wow, people don't want to watch me because I'm loud and excited and hyper. People would tell me they don't want to see that. And it's, it wouldn't get me to, to, to be successful in my career. I ended up coming past another content creator who was just as vocal and loud and it encouraged me to be myself and and know that, hey, I can be successful too and who I am. And it took a while to realize that no matter what, there are going to be comments online, but you can't listen to those because being authentically you is always going to make you more successful or more a better person than suppressing yourself. And I think if you suppress yourself as well, you start to question yourself, question who you are and what people may or may not like about you. I have to think why these people say those comments, but a lot of time I think that they can be unhappy with themselves as well. And so they're projecting that onto you. And I think remembering that can be hard, but sometimes the best way to battle if you're being bullied or people are commenting online towards you and saying stuff about you and your personality or appearance. Sometimes there's appearance comments. A lot of the time it's best to ignore and remember that they may not be okay as well. The other suggestion is to not read comments or mute the lobbies if you don't want to hear anything. I have friends, content creators who have muted their lobbies or uh, lobby chats because this is better for their well-being than if they read it. And I think that there is nothing wrong with you doing that. If you're just there to have fun with your friends, enjoy your time gaming, there is nothing wrong with you muting that. There was, there is, and I even still think now there has gotten to a point now where I don't even read my comments because sometimes... I know if I'm in a bad mental state that I can't read that comment because 
it will not help my mental state of where I am. So why read it? I want to be surrounded by people that are just as positive and just as happy to keep me positive and happy. And that's not to say that we all won't have our dips and lows, um, but you don't need to be thinking about what someone else thinks about you because at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. I think another mental struggle that we all deal with is not feeling good enough. I will relate this to my career in terms of when I started to where I am now. And as a content creator, you most of the time you start low and you're building something and it's so exciting and so new and you're growing and growing and oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then sometimes you hit a peak and it can drop. And that does happen a lot. We all have our, I relate this to how sometimes we have our highs and then we have our low days. And sometimes it makes us feel not good enough and maybe we shouldn't be doing what we're doing. Maybe we're not good enough to be doing this job. We're not good enough for this person. That is just a feeling, but it's not the truth. But it is definitely a feeling that I think we all experience. And again, speaking to someone, speaking to your friends is the best way to either A, get the tools to learn how to navigate those thoughts or have your friends pump you up, uplift you, tell you that they're there for you and that those those thoughts, those negative thoughts that you are not good enough, they're not true. They're your thoughts and they feel very real, but they're not true and that you are good enough. And I sometimes feel like with mental health, it feels like an endless cycle of always trying to look after yourself and your well-being. But I promise you, never give up. There is always help. There is always things you can do. And to never stop finding that healthy balance. It's like having baby steps every day. And you're always going to have little highs and lows. But the lows may feel low, but at least you're working your way upwards consistently. If you are not trying, then the lows will feel lower and lower. So I have never stopped trying to improve my well-being every day. And this also includes eating healthy. We're talking making sure you're keeping your fruits and your veggies and you're eating nourishing meals for your body because it's not only for your body, but it's for your mind as well. Because as, as much as the food is for our body, the food is for our mind as well. And we want to consistently make sure that we're eating well and eating healthy. Sometimes I know if we're having a bad day as well, whether that's mental or other, we sometimes hide that and put on a mask that everything is okay. And I know in my experience, that has never worked well for me because eventually I, you know, it'll put mask on day after day or whatever is happening. And I end up having maybe a little bit of a meltdown or an explosion. And I have found that it is best, again, to talk about it and to be open about how I'm feeling, again, with friends or family. Or if you're not comfortable with that, again, someone professional to speak to. Although things seem to be perfect on the surface, once the screens go off, sometimes things are different. Beyond Blue wanted to show gamers and non-gamers within Australia how important it is to look after our mental well-being and each other. As part of their initiative, hashtag beyond the screen, there'll be a link in the description below for fundraising activities for their research and their services. If you're a content creator or you just want to spread awareness as well, you can click on the link as well and it will give you more information. What's important to note, the people are all different, but we all feel pain and simply sadness in life. But it's what we do about it for either ourselves or for others that matters the most. And thank you again to Beyond Blue for this amazing initiative, hashtag Beyond the Screen, for spreading awareness and helping gamers manage their mental well-being and finding that healthy lifestyle balance.